This is One on One. We are joined by Kent Carrison, who is president and chief executive officer of Fisher Center for Alzheimer Research Foundation. Good to see you, Kent. Good to see you, Steve. Um, I'm also uh, managing director and partner of uh, Cantor Fitzgerald as well. Yeah, let's, let's put things in perspective. Um, let's deal with that first. Sure. You survived 9-11. By about 30 seconds, yes. Talk about it. So when I, uh, I, I went to go vote, because it was a primary day, and uh, there was a little bit of a queue. And uh, when I pulled up, uh, that's when the plane hit my pulled building. Up to the Trade Center. Yeah. And you lost how many of your coworkers? Six hundred and fifty-eight coworkers. So what we've done, uh, Howard Lutnick and and our crew, um, have well Howard mainly. We've, uh, we've given over $300 million to the family members, and we've given uh, each year we do Charity Day. So we, what we've done is we've, take, uh, we've taken a, a really bad day, and we've made it a good day because we raise money throughout the world. Uh, this year, I think it was like $12 million. $12 million. $12 million. Uh, we all give our money back, uh, all of our salaries back and everything else. So uh, we spread the wealth to other charities. And that's the way we make, it, it makes us feel cool and warm-hearted. Yeah. It's, um, it's been, as we move into 2017, we're taping this program at the end of 2000 and. 16, um, you're still connected to many of those families, are you not? I am. I have, uh, since, Octo since 9 12, I was involved in helping the families heal as much as I could. Um, and I do uh, the memorial every year as well. So I haven't stopped right. and I'm not going to let them down. Let's shift gears and talk about another um, important topic. Yes. Um, you brought this book in. I did. Why Can't Grandma Remember My Name? OK. So the organization that you're very much connected to, the Fisher Center for Alzheimer's Research Foundation, dedicated to doing what? Alzheimer's research. What do we need to know about Alzheimer's research in terms, and I told you that this has uh, directly affected not just my family, but millions of other families in this region, in this country. Um, so what if do we you, need to know? If, if you look at it, Steve, there's 5.3 million people that um, are affected directly by Alzheimer's. And if you do a multiple effect, meaning children of, of, uh, of patients, uh, it's about 22 million people in the country that are affected, in the United States. What do you mean by that when you say the children? Um, you're saying that those of us who have parents who are dealing with it, that we're affected or want to understand? Uh, yeah, so it's the children, <clears throat> of the people that have Alzheimer's, and it's your, your son or your daughter who's also affected by it, and that's why I wrote the book. Yeah, the artwork in the book, talk about it. Yeah, so art therapy is really something that's, it, it helps Alzheimer's patients um, express themselves because they can't speak. Yeah, we're looking right there, yeah. Um, and then I, I juxtapose that to kindergarten mm. art. So I thought I would bookend life, if you will. And that's why I use the art. Why do you care so much about this Well, subject? Zach Fisher and Elizabeth Fisher were really 
very good friends of mine. Um, I'm also on the board of Intrepid that Zach started. Uh, and I saw Mrs. Fisher go from dancing on the floor. There she is. Dancing on the floor to not being able to even speak. So it's something that her lack of speaking actually spoke to me. And that's why I want to uh, eradicate uh, Alzheimer's. So, and that, you know, it's, I'm raising money, right? Yeah. Uh, it's Paul, Dr. Paul Gringard, Nobel laureate, who, uh, and his 50 scientists who we support, that's gonna be uh, a way to solve the problem. Talk to us about, um... I mean, for those of us who have loved ones who are dealing with it right now, that is one thing. And we, we, we pray for and we hope for their um, um, dealing with this as best they can, and, and we help them as best we can. But for the future, give us reasons to be hopeful. So the main uh, reason of Alzheimer's is it's an enzyme called beta amyloid, and if your brain has too much beta amyloid, it will start affecting your brain. So what Dr. Gringard and the 50 scientists who I support have come up with an idea of doing sort of like a, a test when you're 40, because we know beta amyloid grows uh, way before it affects you. And then we're trying to develop a drug which will eradicate the beta amyloid in your brain. So if someone, this is so interesting, um, if you're watching, and by the way, go onto the website to find out more information. We have it up there right now. Oh, thank you. So well, we're here to, to help educate and inform people. But if, for those of us who, who are, as I said, and, and us means millions of people, as I said, um, we're, we're asking this question. So if your dad or your mom is dealing with it, uh, someone says, well, you know, it's, it's on your mom's side. You know, and I was like, no, it's not that simple. It's not no, that it's simple. not that simple because early onset is tied to genes. Uh, later, Alzheimer's is not tied genetically. So what we're trying to do is snip it in the bud before it affects you. And that is what you just described. Yeah, exactly. And so if you were to say that there are other things that people could do to try to protect themselves as best they could. Sure. Uh, exercise, eat well, um, and be kind to yourself. Mm. Uh, in the meantime, hopefully, uh, our 50 scientists will be able to solve the problem. That's the point. That's why I'm raising all the money. You spend most of your time trying to make a difference for other people every day. Yeah, yeah Steve, uh, if you've lived through 9-11, then you dedicate yourself to other people. The book is called, Why Can't Grandma Remember My Name? Kent, I want to thank you for, for joining us, and uh, we'll, we'll talk after the air, after we go off the air. I wish we had more time, but uh, thank you for joining us. Thank See you, you next so time. Much. Thank you. Thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Wells Fargo, Caldwell University, Suez, ready for the resource revolution. Hackensack Meridian Health, Hackensack University Medical Center Foundation, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, and by Century 21 Construction. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.